The first time the term superfood was used was in 1918 by the United Fruit Company. It helped them sell a lot of bananas. I'm heading to the grocery store to re-up my supply of some healthy supplements and foods that I can find here locally in India. Now, if you're an Indian person, you probably are aware of some of these, but I bet you're not gonna be aware of all of them. If you're from America and you're thinking about traveling to India, I hope that some of these will let you know that you can find some super healthy things at some great prices here in India. Or you could even find some of these on Amazon that you could buy today. Let's check it out. Special day here. Eating superfoods in the USA is super trendy and you'll pay super prices for the privilege. But in India, many of these same superfoods or similar ones are the typical foods everyone eats. You can find them at the local market. You can find them outside your door. All right, so one superfood is chia seeds. Check this out. You get 100 grams of chia seeds for 36 rupees, so about 50 cents. Lentils, like mung dal, are one of the healthiest foods we can get. Check these out, 68 rupees for half kg. There are plenty of other options for pulses or lentils as well, and each region of India has their own favorites. All right, they wouldn't let me film in there, but I got a big bag of Indian superfoods for seven bucks. Let's go find some more. Keep in mind the term superfood has nothing to do with like a formal study that found it had a lot of nutritional value. Superfood is a marketing term. So if I were to set up my own sandwich company and I wanted to call it a superfood, no one could say anything. All right, we're at the local market. Let's see if we can find some healthy foods. You can find this in most every uh, lunch down here in Itali. And it is a superfood that's super expensive in the USA. At the end of this month, mangoes are gonna be in season and there are a thousand varieties in India. They have some ready already. You can see this. I think this is a more uh, less sweet one, but let's try it. One kg? 150 rupees. Half kg? 70 rupees. Half kg? 50 rupees. 50 rupees. 50 rupees. More pulses of every shape, size, and color. Is this an amla or a baby watermelon? Amla, no. Amla? Amla? Amla, amla, no. No, amla. Turmeric or haldi is used in many dolls and sauces. It can be applied to the skin for insect bites and is getting really popular in the West in turmeric lattes or turmeric shots. This is actually an Indonesian drink. It has turmeric, lemon, honey, and ginger. Pretty good. Turmeric strong. Coconut water, coconut oil, coconut chutney. There are many ways we use coconuts here in South India. So some people call coconut oil a superfood. Others dispute it, but I think there's no disputing that it's great taste. And I like it for things other than food. I put it in my hair and it keeps my hair silky smooth. You can also get it very cheaply here. So we got... Uh, 500 milliliters organic coconut oil, cold pressed, 290 rupees, 200 milliliters, unmarked, 100 rupees. I'm gonna go with the unmarked variety. Mangoes, the smaller kind too. They're big enough so it makes it worth it when you peel it. You get a lot of uh, juicy fruit, small enough to be super sweet. One kg? Wonderful pomegranate. These are available all the time. <laughs> I don't think this is native to India, but looks good. Last summer I made a video about mangoes and I was getting them for 80 rupees a kilo, which is about a buck. Uh, these were 120. They're from Bangalore. So uh, it's still way early in the season. I'm surprised uh, they're here, but mangoes are amazing. This is good for your stomach. Trifala is a combination of three different fruits. This one's got a picture of the trifala. Ashwagandha, I first found this in a coffee mixture for like entrepreneurs to 
give you energy but not stress you out as well. I like this in powdered form to have in my tea at night. Raggy flour is an underappreciated superfood here. Farmers usually they go to the land and then uh, they carry uh, a jar of uh, raggy malt. It's a, you can mix this with water and farmers will drink this in the morning to keep them strong. I learned that in my video about br Indian breakfasts. It's super cheap, you can make chapatis out of it or little flatbreads and it's got a cool dark color. Okay, let's taste some superfoods, some of these being Indian. These are the mangoes that aren't as sweet. Wow, dude. Oh, yeah. One of the best foods in the world, in my opinion, tastiest is the mango. And I can't wait for summertime to get here so we can get all different types. Let's dive into the first mango of the year. I told a friend that I got some mangoes. She was astounded since they're not really uh, supposed to be ripe yet. Late March is the very beginning of the season and it is mid-March, so we are getting close. Michelle taught me how to cut a mango and I am pretty stoked about the way I'm cutting this now. Indian mangoes and US mangoes. Hey, I love my US. I miss some things, but mangoes in the US do not compare in the least to mangoes in India. Wow, all right. Moving along, let's taste the mango that is in season. I admit maybe I'm a little bit wrong here in the sense, I'm hoping that it's not raw. One time I tasted fruits and vegetables in the past on this channel a long time ago and I ate raw jackfruit, which everyone in the comments was quick to mention like, dude, you're eating it. Uh, you're eating raw jackfruit. You should get one that's in season. So maybe, maybe that's gonna happen here again. Okay, chili powder with salt, mango. I messed it up, maybe not. It's sour, not sweet, crispy. Now pomegranates are available here all year round from what I've noticed. I saw this guy out on the street who had a long fingernail selling these things and he peeled it with his fingernail, offered it to me. Thought it was a cool trick, yet was also simultaneously a tad bit grossed out that uh, it's gonna be eating this fingernail debris uh, in my pomegranate. Which is why I'm gonna go uh, with more shorn fingernails and I'm gonna use a knife. What is your favorite Indian superfood? Let me know in the comments. I'm looking to try some new things. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up. More videos coming soon next week. Take care.